Uh, good evening, I'm Lee Sosley. Katia has the night off. At the top, the Alice City Council has finally pulled the plug on that city's indoor natatorium. The pool, of course, has been a source of controversy there since it opened back in 2016. But as Greg Chandler tells us, there was nearly a deal to keep that pool open. The city had hoped that Alice ISD would take over the natatorium, and the two sides were seemingly close to a deal. However, that deal fell apart, potentially closing this multi-million dollar facility for good. And we were pretty much at a point where we felt good about it. Alice ISD superintendent says he and the city manager had worked out a deal which would allow the district to lease the natatorium for nearly $60,000 a year. But over Thanksgiving break, Alice's city council rejected the deal and countered with a $100,000 lease. Once we um, heard that you know, it was going to be 100000 uh, we knew it was going to be a stretch. There was no deal, so this week the city council voted to close the natatorium and drain the pool. We didn't receive anything back from Alice ISD, as, and we're not put on the agenda as far as to, to go into renegotiate or, or counteroffer. But the superintendent says the district didn't receive that counteroffer until hours before Tuesday's council meeting, eight days after the school board met. Without a, a contract in front of us, anything official, we did not put it on the board agenda for the ninth. It was too quick of a turnaround. That leaves the city of Alice wondering how to cure its multi-million dollar headache. This has been in discussions for a very long time. What to do with a facility, you know, where to go from here. Alice ISD superintendent told me he's still hopeful the sides can work out a deal, but not if the city insists on $100,000 a year. Reporting in Alice, Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News. Now, the mayor says the outdoor water park, which is part of the natatorium complex, will stay open on a seasonal basis.